Hey guys, we're in the Magic Kingdom today. We're actually about to have lunch at Skipper's Canteen. Uh, so I'm excited, I've had it before, but- That's one of my favorite places. Yeah, I've heard there's a menu change though, a little bit new, some new yeah, stuff. Yeah, a while ago, yeah. Yeah, so I haven't been there since, so I'm excited. Let's check it out. Yep. Hey everybody, Pete and Steve and Brian here, and we are at the Jungle Skipper Canteen having lunch. We haven't been here in a while, and uh, we would show you like the full, uh, food, all the food that we just ordered, but uh, the appetizers came out, we were starving, and it wasn't until we were halfway through that we realized we hadn't filmed any of this, so forgive us. But what we ordered was uh, the falafels, which are over here, and the house-made arepas, which are here. Uh, the falafels, a secret recipe of chickpeas, garlic, onions, lemon juice, and herbs. $8.50. The arepas are a trip down the Amazon with slow cooked beef, black beans, uh, tostones, and queso fresco, which is $9.50. Now, I haven't tried the arepas yet, but I will tell you the, uh, uh, the uh, uh, falafels are amazing. They're really good. Who did the? Did anybody have the? I haven't had it yet. All right, yeah, well, let's. Let's try. I'm just gonna pick and have some of the beef. I don't know what you're supposed to do with this. <laughs> if these are all individual or yeah, are you supposed to eat it like in one bite or? I don't think so. Um, I'm not educated on uh, arepas. <laughs> right, whatever that is, really good. Some kind of potato thing. Is that like a bread? That other. I don't know. Hmm. Guess it's as good as mine. Doesn't come with a fork, but not as good. No. Oh my god, the shredded beef is amazing. All right, Brian, let's see what you think. You wanna try the beef. Can't have too much beef. It's good. It's a little bitter for me. Well, you're a bitter man. I am queen. <laughs> so I gave him a name today. It's Angry McBitterson. <laughs> so o overall, you would say falafels over the. No question. Falafels are drop dead bagels. Mm. They're delicious. They are. Waffles are delicious. You're not what bitter over that? Be? No, no. <laughs> <laughs> I do love the waffles. They do make your breath smell for the rest of the day, though. But in one bite, <laughs> with, get it all in there. <laughs> did you really just do that? He really did. Yeah. Can't and take you... them anywhere. But very, very good. <laughs> Okay, so we have gotten our main courses. Um, I got the uh, char siu pork, which is a marinated grilled pork served with Chinese broccoli and a choice of either five grain or white, white rice. That's $24. Steve ordered the Nile Nelly's noodle bowl, which is Niles and Niles of rice noodles. Uh, fragrant broth served with um, chicken or duck. I think he, uh, he got the duck. With jalapenos and fresh herbs. With the duck, it's twenty-three dollars. With uh, chicken, it's twenty-two. Uh, Brian ordered the uh, the curry vegetable cruise stew. Um, so this is uh, coconut rice, seasonal vegetables, and house-made curry sauce is seventeen dollars. So uh, I will tell you, this is one of my favorite dishes. Oh. That was loud. Uh, this is one of my favorite dishes anywhere. This char siu pork, um, as good as it always is. I, it's an absolute. I look forward to this. This is what I order every time I come here. So Brian, how about yours? It's good. It's not really spicy. It just has curry flavor, and I'm very uh, susceptible to the spiciness. I don't like heat at all. So just has a curry flavor. The cauliflower is the same color as everything else, so you don't know it's cauliflower. So that's good. And uh, the bread has some kind of tumor on it, but it's still good. <laughs> like, uh, like Pete said, this is a rice noodle bowl with uh, duck in it. And it's, you know, it's a big portion. It's a really big size. And um, 
it just isn't for me. It's just a preference thing, really, more than anything else. That it, I just don't like the flavor. But it's not that it isn't cooked right. Actually, Pete says that he thinks the duck actually tastes really not gamey at all. And you know, I, I trust him on that. He would probably know better than I would on that. But it, it just isn't to my preference. But it's nothing against it. All right, so we just finished up at Skipper's Canteen, and mine was just okay. I've had a lot better experiences there, but it was really just because I didn't prefer what I got. I I loved it. I thought it was great. I really enjoyed. Uh, I, I really enjoyed that dish. It's what I get every time I go there. Um, service was um, was good. Um, it was heavy on the shtick and a little light on the details, though. Um, that could have been a little bit better. What did you think? Uh, I liked it. It's, it's not my favorite in the Magic Kingdom. Still like be our guest, but it, it's good and it's better than quick service. And you're right, the service. What is I will, what I will say is that um, for uh, three entrees, two appetizers, and soft drinks, uh, with the Tables in Wonderland discount, came to uh, came to about thirty three dollars a person. So it's expensive. It's mm -hmm. expensive, but I like it. I like it. It's a nice place to, it's not, it never seems, even a, in a big room like that, it never seems overly crowded in there to me. No, it's not. It's, uh, and it's still relatively easy to get the theming is ADR. Fun. The yeah. theming is fun, and it's relatively easy to get ADRs there, so for that reason, um, it's one of the, it's a really good option for a sit-down restaurant in the Magic, or a table service restaurant in the Magic Kingdom. So, that's it. Thanks, guys.